Hey guys, today I'm going to coil a small jar, so I'll speed the video up so it won't take too long and show you the whole process from beginning to end of forming a small jar. And then next week, I'll show you the slipping and the decorating of that same jar. I'm also going to show you my new pottery setup at my new house and talk to you about some upcoming workshops. If you don't know who I am, my name is Andy Ward. I teach how to make pottery the way the ancients did in the American Southwest centuries ago. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'll teach you too. I think one more coil like that should do it. This is just a little experimental pot for my Salado polychrome experiments. So this will get slipped with the um, that special white slip painted with organic paint to use as a firing experiment. I've been planning some workshops for next year. So if you're interested, uh, check my website, ancientpottery.how, for workshop information, prices, times, schedule. Um, there's another one that I'm planning that's going to be about um, cooking. We're going to make um, cooking pots, uh, like, you know, non-decorated cooking pots or corrugated cooking pots. And then we're going to actually um, experiment with cooking food in them we're going to have um, bowls that we can eat out of, uh, earthenware bowls, so it should be a lot of fun. That's 
kind of a camping workshop out uh, at my property uh, that I own near the Chiricahuas. So that one hasn't been scheduled yet. There's not a date, but um, there's information on the website. And the, the, the date and, and price will be up there. Everything will be up there very soon. I've got PP mark on the bottom. Can you see that? So I'll be working at taking that down. It's just a a deer rib, and so I'm just using this to scrape off high points. It's unmodified, it's just a deer rib. I haven't uh, shaped it or sharpened it or anything. It's a short rib, I think. Hey guys, so I finally got moved into my new house. It's taken a long time. We had 
to Kiln Conference and move and vacation with my son. So it's been a long time since I just did a regular video uh, where I talked to the camera a little bit. And so I thought I'd show you the new house. The house is kind of a mess right now because uh, my son and my daughter-in-law just moved in with us uh, last weekend. So the garage has a bunch of their stuff in it right now. And then you got this nice porch where you can see putting the light on a little bit here. You can see I've got my workbench set up and I might move it somewhere else uh, eventually, but it works pretty good here and it gives me that nice red brick as a backdrop. There's that little jar I made today. Uh, so that's not a bad setup for me there. And I've got a little fountain in the backyard, which is nice. It kind of cuts out the noises of the city. I'll show you what else has been taking a lot of my time. And that is what's through here. So we've got this litter of puppies. And so that's, uh, that's another reason I haven't made a video in a while. Because... Another one of the things that's taking on my cabin is taking care of them. So those are old time Scotch Collie puppies. You can look that up online if you want to know what that is. It's an old fashioned type collie. You know, I'm starting to get settled down here and hopefully can start devoting a little more time to videos and courses and that sort of thing. I'm also starting to schedule um, my workshops for next year. So I've got the one in March in Mesa and then I'm working on one uh, for maybe April out by the Chiricahuas, and that's going to be more of a camping, a little more um, primitive situation. Um, and then I'm um, working on several others as well. So hopefully I'll have four or maybe five workshops next year if everything works out.